A semi-truck carrying empty glass bottles got wedged under the railroad overpass on Highland Drive on the Cal Poly campus today. KSBY News reporter Ashley Stevens has more on the story. A semi-truck carrying empty glass bottles got wedged under the railroad overpass on Highland Drive on the Cal Poly campus Tuesday. No damage was done to the railroad bridge. However, the new vehicle clearance sign stating vehicles under 12 feet and 6 inches are clear has been damaged. I was walking just on the right hand side of the sidewalk here and noticed that like half of this thing was torn up. So it must have just gotten wedged halfway through. Um, saw just probably 20 foot long just scrapes along the ground. I'm assuming from the from the stands that hold up the entire uh, trailer. Despite warning signs stating how high the bridge is before you drive under it, people on campus have seen this happen before. You get on campus and you get a little confused and you get a little frustrated. You're trying to figure out where the football field is or where the campus store is and where your loads are going to go and then how you're going to get out of here. And so sometimes I think they just think that's the easy way. And there you go. Unfortunately, as years go by, the higher they build the trailers because they're building higher bridges. Um, that's why they put signs up there on how tall they are. I mean, it happens quite often, not here, but everywhere. Cal Poly students who bike and walk didn't seem to have an issue getting to their classes on time compared to those driving to class. Highland Drive was closed to traffic in both directions while crews removed the wrecked truck. Thankfully, I don't drive, so it doesn't impact me personally too much, but it seems like a big pain in the butt for everybody who's got to drive to school because traffic's already terrible. Uh, my, my first reaction, I was, actually, I was driving to class because I had a class down that way on, towards the right and it made me late, a good 10 minutes late to class. So that was my first reaction, so my first reaction was not a good one. University officials tell me they have made additional signage leading up to the railroad trestle to alert truck drivers of the overpass's height restriction. They are also looking into additional options to help truck drivers who have not checked the height of their vehicles before attempting to drive through that area. In the studio, Ashley Stevens, KSBY News. Officials with the university say that since 2014, there have been 31 crashes into the overpass on Highland Drive.